Well, the Conference USA quarterfinal round is that a little something for everyone. You had the one seed flexing its muscle as Sam Houston cruised past FIU. You had the huge upset. The seven seed, Middle Tennessee, stuns Louisiana Tech by three. And you had UTEP grinding it out and coming from behind to defeat Liberty 66-67. That means there's just one spot up for grabs in the semifinal round. That spot will be taken tonight by either Western Kentucky or New Mexico State. Take a look at the bracket in this Conference USA Championship. Sam Houston will meet UTEP tomorrow, 1230 Eastern, and Middle Tennessee awaits the winner of our game here this evening. Welcome inside Probe Serena alongside Paul Nazigan. I'm Matt Warner. Should be a great matchup tonight. New Mexico State, Western Kentucky split the two meetings during the season. But let's start with the Yaggies. Jason Hooten takes over this program. He tries to instill his culture. He tries to rebuild it. Well, listen, a win tonight, and all of a sudden, you're taking a huge step towards becoming a program that's on the rise. Yeah, for sure. And they're going to have to do it in two ways. On the offensive end, they've got to be patient and really work for quality shots against a tough defense. And then defensively, they got their work cut out for them. They're going to have to have a great effort against the Conference USA's top scoring offense. Yeah, offense, not an issue for Western Kentucky, but the focus heading into the postseason, it's on the other end of the floor. Yeah, Coach Lutz really really feels confident and comfortable about what they can do on the offensive end. But for the last two weeks, he's been preaching defensive intensity. They got to bring it tonight against a really good Aggies team. All right, let's take a look at our impact players this evening, beginning with New Mexico State and Femi Odakali. Yeah, what a player Femi is. I mean, he can just do so much. All-conference third team in the conference season this year, third in rebounding, eighth in assists. He is so valuable because of his versatility, and he is just a tough, tough competitor. And for Western Kentucky, the lightning quick, Don McHenry. Yeah, Don McHenry, first team all-conference, third in scoring, fifth in field goal percentage. I mean, it's just important that he gets out and gets going early. Western Kentucky, the three seed, New Mexico State, the six, and yet the Hilltoppers are the ones Struggling coming in, they limp into the postseason. Four straight losses to end the regular season. While New Mexico State, after a six-game losing streak, they win their last two heading into the postseason. Yeah, talking to Coach Lutz, I mean, it's it's actually the opposite of what you want to do going yeah. in. Talk about, can you, are you playing well? He's not, but here's the thing. They've been preaching just toughness. They are very confident in who they are, and they believe they could just flip the switch tonight and break that losing streak and get back to who they are. Well, I think everyone that has watched Conference USA basketball this season knows that Western Kentucky is talented yes. enough yes. to not only reach the semifinals, they could win this whole thing with what they have on their roster. Yeah, they've got, uh, of course, great scoring if they clean that defense up, but they've got it all. They've got athleticism, they've got size, they've got skilled players, they're tough. So again, all it's gonna take is survive in advance. If they can turn this thing around and win tonight, they could go all the way. Jason Hooten saying earlier today when we chatted with him, Western Kentucky may be the most talented roster yep. in this conference. But can you put it all together come tournament time? We're about to find out. One spot left in the semifinals. Each of these teams trying to secure it. Our final game of the night. One night ago, we had an absolute thriller. Middle <laughs> Tennessee knocking off Louisiana Tech. What does tonight have in store? Western Kentucky controls it. And we'll get our first look at Don McHenry. Western Kentucky 19 and 11 on the season, 8 and 8 in Conference USA play. McHenry has it on the wing. Gets it inside to Baba Carfe. He leans in, getting to that right hand, takes a little contact, no whistle. The follow, not there. Pretty good look by Tyrone Marshall, but it rims off. One theme we've seen in this tournament as well, and that is exemplifying it. These <laughs> officials have let <laughs> these dudes play. It has been physical. Cook with the basketball. He has been hot of late, hoists the first three off the mark, pulled down by Western Kentucky. And they like to run when they get the opportunity. Yeah, we mentioned it. The highest scoring offense in Conference USA this year. And they are on the board. They can play on the half court, don't get me wrong, but when they can get out and run a little bit, they love doing that. Tyrone Marshall knocks it down from three. This is a team that scores 
Hawks over 80 points a ball game, best in the conference. But on the other side, as we talked about, and during this four-game losing streak, they've given up almost 83 a contest. It's been a struggle. That shot off the mark. Faye pulls the rebound. And a lot of it, in talking to Steve Lutz, he feels like it's just focus. Just locking in, yep. paying attention to those details on the defensive end. They're certainly capable of playing better defensively than they have. Faye gets it, spins baseline. A lot of contact, goes up on the other side of the rim, and it falls off. <laughs> It'll be fun watching Faye and Iziagu battle in the post. As Cook goes driving baseline, he goes up with a reverse layup attempt. That's no good. Now it's McHenry weaving through traffic. Allen spots up from three. Tough shot. Right on the money. Dante Allen with the triple. It's been a couple of threes here early for Western Kentucky. They're pushing in transition. New Mexico State little slow getting matchups. Big shot right there. Allen. And off to Cook, gets in the paint. Goes up with the right hand, no offensive rebound and a foul call. It's Casey Iziagu who got the rebound and then fouled by Dante Allen. Yeah, Cook, I mean, he's he's taking a shot. He's taking a couple drives. He's really trying to get himself started, which I like about him. Well, he's Be been a little more aggressive. Yeah, he's been scoring it well here lately. Over 17 a game in his last five. Iziagu heads to the free throw line. 51% free throw shooter on the year. Front iron's the first one. Well, New Mexico State has had a, an adversity-filled season, yep. to say the yep. least. Had players leave the program during the season, suspensions. Jason Hooten saying, we've got eight scholarship guys. These guys are going to give me everything they yep. have. Yep. But he's kept them focused through yeah. all that craziness. They finished the season with back-to-back -back wins. Yeah. They finished as the sixth seed. As that one knocked loose, fortunate, Western Kentucky kept the basketball. Marshall swings it. Yeah, Howard into the game now in the post. Kick out three, too strong. And the rebound pulled down by New Mexico State. Jackson Posey handles the ball. He had 10 in the last game of the regular season for the Aggies. And now getting to the rim for two is Jaden Harris. Harris has played well against Western Kentucky this year. 18 points in the first meeting, 13 in the second. Good, nice drive right there. The big fella trying to get a little <laughs> space, and Rodney Howard able to lay it up and in. Yeah, they got a kind of a one-two punch down there between Faye and Howard. You see those guys all night kind of subbing in for each other. Howard, the sixth man of the year in the conference. Well, that was a shot to the face. Oda Cali just got slapped across the face as he went up for that jump shot. Yeah, you had to call that one. But uh, yeah, when you got a sixth man coming off the bench like Howard, there's Harris's penetration. Nice little up and under. to the free throw line, third team, all conference. And this is the first. Yeah, we hi highlighted him, and I mean, he, he just does so much for this team. I mean, points, 6.6 .6 rebounds a game, three assists a game. Just such a versatile player. And he can't convert at the free throw line. So New Mexico State has started the ball game 0-4 from the strike. Henry gets an open look from three. That was way off the mark. And the Aggies have an opportunity to cut into this six-point deficit. The spin, the kick, corner three coming. Off the mark, long rebound out to Cook. He'll pull up from the elbow. Take his turn and knocks it down. Christian Cook, an underrated score in this league. Gives you about 11 a game. Western Kentucky attacks the other way, and Brandon Newman draws the foul. You can't relax no. with this Hilltopper Make squad. Miss, you got to get back and get your defense set. They get on you in a hurry. Cook with the bucket. New Mexico State trails by four here in the early going. Early lead for the three seed, Western Kentucky. As you go into the lab, 
You dissect every matchup. You find the keys right. to the game. Give them to us tonight. Well, one we already talked about for New Mexico State, transition defense is huge. You got to get back. They, Western Kentucky pushes the ball so quickly. You got to get back and get your defense set. And then they, they got to defend the paint. And that's against the bigs as well as dribble penetration. Now, for Western Kentucky, we mentioned it already. It's got to be defensive intensity, possession after possession. And they really want to tonight win the glass. They want to win the overall rebounding battle, but also they want to crash the glass offensively and get putbacks. That's something they do very well. They're going to go to the free throw line coming out of the timeout. As Brandon Newman was fouled just before we stepped aside. So he'll head to the line for a couple. Newman, it's over 10 points a ball game for Western Kentucky, misses the first. The transfer from Purdue, he and Steve Lutz have a long history. Lutz helped recruit him to Purdue. And Lutz was on Boilermaker staff. They end up reuniting here with Western Kentucky this season. It's one and two to go. A little pressure shown now by the Hilltoppers. And Posey passes it off. That's Jonathan Kenyanga who just checked into the ball game. The handoff. The shot fading away from the hoop a bit off the mark. And pulling down the rebound was Newman. Henry, lightning quick with the ball in his hands. A little hesitation rises up off the mark. He hasn't been able to really get it going offensively just yet. And quickly, New Mexico State the other way. Harris pulls up. That goes down. Tough shot by Harris. Saw him just make a really nice drive. That time pulled a little 17-footer. He's got four early points. Henry kicks out. Contested three ball off the mark. Offensive rebound, and that foul going to be called on Jaden Harris. Yeah, we just mentioned that in the keys. They want to crash that offensive glass. Howard, big body, long arms. Get someone right there, and a foul. Well, in the two meetings this season, the home team won both, but you go back to the first meeting. New Mexico State won 72-70 back on January 18th. New Mexico State trailed by 23 in the second half, closed the game on a 41-17 run, including hitting 12 threes in that game, the most they hit in any conference game. And you have to think in Western Kentucky, the back of their mind somewhere, that's one that they're like, man, we let that one get away. And they know that, you know, obviously they cannot take the foot off the pedal here tonight. Yeah, ones like that can haunt you. But, yeah, I mean, that, that just kind of shows New Mexico State has some offensive punch, too. Right. And, and they got some guys that they can, you know, turn it up in transition and score quick as well. Newman gets in the paint, jump stop, draws the foul. So Western Kentucky aggressive. Yeah, see, and that sort of goes to the, the key of... New Mexico State has you got to protect that paint, not just from you know uh, the bigs like Howard, and, but on those drives, if, if, if guys like Newman can get in there that deep, nothing good is going to happen. If you're New Mexico State, it's going to be fouls or or lay-ins. That foul called on Odakali, his first. More for Newman, member of Conference USA All Academic Team, in addition to what he provides on the court for the Hilltoppers. 10 6, Western Kentucky with the early lead. They have led from the jump here tonight. A lot of dribbling by Jordan Rawls, now gives it up to Nyanga. Kicks to the corner, nice wide ball. open three, and it goes down. It's nice pet way with the triple. Great ball movement by New Mexico State. Used the ball screen, two quick passes, finds a wide open Rawls in the corner. That way he had 19 in the first meeting between these two teams. He starts hot here tonight. Newman takes his turn from three. That rattles out, offensive rebound, the dribble, and the lay-in. Rodney Howard yeah. is a load down there, 6'11". <laughs> a, a beast. He takes up some space. And again, that is right in their wheelhouse, Western Kentucky. They love crashing that glass, getting second chance opportunities. And right now, too, with Iziagu out of the ball game, not many guys can match up with Rodney Howard in the post. 
A little Big floater rolls. in the lane. Roll, Rawls knocks it down. Average is about eight and a half a ball game. Henry behind the back dribble, gives it up. Drives, strong take to the rim, and drawing the foul that time is Enoch Colombe. So he'll get himself to the free throw line. Here's that offensive board a moment ago. Yeah, I mean, that's just all about effort. Finding a seam, getting his big body in there, and that's going to be huge. You know, it was interesting. We talked with Steve Lutz earlier today and the Howard Sixth Man of the Year. He was talking about the depth that this team has. And it was really interesting the way that he talked about yes. it. He's like, he referenced Tay Hardy, the UTEP guard who leads the conference in minutes played. And Western Kentucky doesn't have a player within the top 20 in minutes played. And he goes, you know, Tay Hardy has played four and a half more games, the equivalent of four and a half more games than Don McHenry has. And he says, that shows up in tournament time. He said, you can't save a guy's legs a week out. That's right. You do it over the course of the season. And he is very confident. He goes, three games in three days, no problem. We have been building for this, and we have been saving minutes throughout the year to be able to go on a run like that. Yeah, and as you save those minutes, you get guys' valuable experience. Yeah. So now you can call on guys that have had game minutes and, and, and played successfully, and the lights are not too bright when they get in a situation like that. Ball deflected, taken away by Columbe. So it's a win-win when you can kind of have a bench that's deep enough to get a lot of guys in like Western Kentucky does. On the flip side, New Mexico State kind of has to lean on more of a core group. They, yeah. don't, they don't go as deep on the bench. Odakali will be a big part of if they're able to succeed here tonight. The drive baseline deflected out of bounds. It will stay with New Mexico State. Odakali, a guy who Jason Hooten says, you know, in the last month, yeah. He's been a top five player in the league. He believes he has been one of the best. He goes, I know he is third team all conference, but in the last month, he's been one of the very best in this league. Yeah, he sure has, and I, that's why I really wanted to highlight him, his play, and again, a, a, a guy that's just, aside from his stats, he is a just a tough competitor. Spinning in the lane, that one partially blocked, stuck yeah. with it <laughs> and laid it in. Right on Kim yeah. Naz. Yeah. He's fierce. Look, he's talking to his teammate. Communication out there. The feed inside, Babacar Faye kicks to the corner. They swing it. Allen gets squared for a good look. Too strong. Long rebound, though, corralled by Western Kentucky. And the lay-in. Christian Lander just checks in and immediately makes an impact. Second chance opportunities continue to haunt New Mexico State. Lander, one of those kind of unheralded guys. He, he gives you almost nine a game. Yeah. You don't talk about him with all the other talent on the floor, but he has been fantastic for them throughout the year. Nice move by Eziago, just did not fall for the big fella. The freshman Moore tried to turn the corner, slipped a little bit, now spins back into contact. Ball knocked away and taken away by the Aggies. Quickly the other way. That one struck from behind. Oh How about that? The quick hands by Dante Allen. Behind the back dribble to the rack. The finger oh, roll was, goes down. That was beautiful. A steal on one end. Coast to coast. Behind the back. A little razzle dazzle. Finger roll. Beautiful by Allen. Western Kentucky pushes the lead out to five. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. They get on you in a hurry. Western Kentucky running out and scoring in the break. Well, we've been talking about the depth of Western Kentucky, and, and we've seen some of that already. How about the sixth man of the year, Rodney Howard coming in, <laughs> making an impact, four points, two rebounds already here tonight. Yeah, they start Faye, who's a little bit of a different player, but Howard loves that role of coming in off the bench, and man, he's just like instant impact. Take a look at the season award winners in Conference USA. Howard, we mentioned, of course, yep. Isaiah Crawford. We just saw David Terrell David last Terrell, game. What a boy. game he had. A huge role in UTEP's win over Liberty. And then Chris Mudge 
Coach of the Year as his Sam Houston squad ended up winning the regular season. Yeah, and, and you know, Crawford and Bacho, I mean, great year. It did not end the way those guys wanted to, and that's, that's kind of crushing, but should not let that take away from the year both of those guys had. Louisiana Tech upset last night by Middle Tennessee, and actually, Nez, that four games thus far, it's been the lower seed yeah. three of them. Now, we kind of came in to this conference tournament saying if the regular season was any indication, <laughs> it could get crazy. And it, it has. It kind of <laughs> has. It may get crazier. Oh. Mexico State's able to pull this one off. How about the swat? Now the bucket and the foul. Oh, my. What a sequence. <laughs> that was an unbelievable block. Marshall came in with the rejection and then got his yeah. hand caught up in the net. The basket goes, it probably would have been basket interference, but tell me there's guys out here don't want to win this game. Oh. <laughs> Buy in and everybody giving great effort. So it's down to just a two point advantage for Western Kentucky. Again, we knew, you talk about the upsets, you just knew this one was going to be a dogfight. Living up to the billing already. Lander gets rid of it, McHenry handles on the wing, steps back, three-pointer, left is short. McHenry scoreless tonight, and the last few games, he just has not been himself when it comes to scoring the basket. Yeah. There's six and a half points per game in his last two contests. And again, I think I've seen him take some quick ones tonight. I think he's really trying to get himself going, and, and you can kind of understand how he feels, like you mentioned. That went a little off the last Pump fake, steps into Touch. it, knocks it down. And we are knotted up at 18 apiece. And that way hit that one in the three-pointer from the corner. Little pull-up jumper right there. He's got eight points to lead the way for the Aggies. That one nearly stolen by Petway, and now it is taken away by the Aggies. Ball loose, <laughs> taken back by Western Kentucky. Allen to the rim, partially blocked. And a foul's going to be called as looks like they're going to get that one on Iziagu. Yeah. yeah, Allen went right into the body of Iziagu. It has been so physical in this tournament, you're almost surprised when there actually is a whistle. <laughs> that rattles out. One more coming for Dante Allen. Young man plays first two seasons at Kentucky for transferring to the Hilltoppers. Yeah, we've got a few real quality transfers, yeah. and that's the day and age in which we live, but Coach Lutz has got a couple guys into the fold from big-time programs. Everyone is getting transfers. The great ones are good in the selection <laughs> process, right? Putting the pieces together. Oh, tough take. Oh, to Cali. Looked like that one might get pinned to the yeah. glass, but the strong move puts New Mexico State on top. Strong finish by Oda Cali. And off to Newman. Crossover, nearly slipped. Now Pump oh. got his man in the air, and that's going to be another foul on Oda Cali, his second. Really smart move by Newman. Picked up his dribble, had Oda Cali all over him, that pump fake. Got him leaning, caused the, the foul. From Oda Cali on the other end, yeah. able to kind of Strong just shield Faye enough. So this will be the ninth and tenth free throws already for Western Kentucky. They've only made four thus far, but they are getting to the line an awful lot here early on. It's another category that they're at the top of Conference USA. Free throw attempts. And again, that's into that style of which they play. They play so fast. Get defenders back on their heels, transition, and, and then even if you slow that down and get on the half court, they got guys that can really attack the rim. Jack Edelin in the ball game for the first time for Western Kentucky. Cook, and he stepped out of bounds. You saw him look down, yeah. try to see where he was on the floor, just too late as that heel 
cleaned it up out of bounds, and the turnover gives it back to the Hilltoppers. Kentucky shooting just 33% from the field. It hasn't been easy. In fact, a lot of what they've gotten has been second chance yes. stuff. Like the first look hasn't been there. Hollenbeck kicks it out. Yeah, the Aggies defense has really been aggressive and doing the job. How about Tough the three shot. ball? Colin Bay knocks Colin it down. Bay. You can kind of see, and they're just, they've got so many ways that they can hurt you. That's usually not one of them. Colin Bay just Colin three Bay of three. 16 from deep <laughs> on the year, but they'll take it. As that one poked away, it will stay with the Aggies. That, that three ball is like found money. He'll, he'll take it. <laughs> You don't count on it. Jalen Jackson, Posey handles the basketball, looking, trying to be inside. Knocked away and stolen by Western Kentucky. They did a nice job of getting around. Oh, oh, just lost the handle as he went up. Just lost the basketball and it's taken the other way. Cook walks into a three-pointer. That's off the mark. Good look doesn't fall, and the Hilltoppers quickly attacking the other way. Yeah, make or miss, man. They get the ball up the floor really quick. That's a trade of a good team. First in the nation in adjusted tempo. Go inside to Baba Carfei. Look at the kicks to the cross. Elon had an open look. Instead, passes to Newman. The extra pass, man. and it pays off. Great unselfishness by Elon. Newman had his feet set, caught it in rhythm, makes it count. Edlin, a guy who plays just over eight minutes a game, so not out there a ton, but give them some good minutes here in the first half. Yeah, and, and, and you just saw what he does best, run offense, move that ball, get it to shooters and scorers. This Western Kentucky crowd trying to urge on its defense. Hook. They swing it, Petway lines up a three. That's off the mark and chased down by Western Kentucky. Little contact, left it short, fight for the rebound and out of bounds. That was Colin Bay who landed with a foot on the line and it'll give it back to New Mexico State after the timeout. Well listen, it is not easy around the rim in this ball game. No easy layups tonight. We've got a close one here early on. Western Kentucky leads by five. What? That guy, just nothing. Where, are all, where are all his friends? Where, they, they ditch him? Yeah, I don't know what happened. That, maybe they're just at the concession stand now. Yeah, or maybe he forgot his wife's birthday or uh, something. Yeah. He's been banished yeah. to the upper level or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Plenty of leg room in the upper level. Hey, there's a look at Don McHenry again. What a season he's had, but of late, it has been a struggle. He had. 10 straight double-digit scoring games, five of those 20 or more points. And then the last two, he goes for four points at FIU, nine points at Liberty, and he's off to a slow start here tonight. To be at their best, they need him to be at his best. Yeah, and, and, and again, he's he's such a, a, a unselfish enough player that he's not going to force shots, and he's not going to take bad shots just to set, get himself going. I mean, he's got great confidence in his teammates, but I know Yo, he's feeling like, man, I, I really want to help my team. I want to get untracked here. And the last few games, like you said, Matt, it's just been tough for him. So New Mexico State with the ball trailing by five. In a lot of ways, it's felt like Western Kentucky yeah. controlled things tonight. But it, I mean, look up, just five-point game. Yeah, New Mexico State has found a way to just grind some points. They've not come easy, but they've gotten enough to keep this thing really close. A seven second chance points for the Aggies. A tough fadeaway, no, batted out. This one corralled by Western Kentucky. Newman gonna set up some offense here. He then hands off to Allen. Allen Bay now gives it up. Newman, they're looking in the post. They're trying to get into Rodney Howard, covered up pretty well by Iziagu. They're trying to swing it around and give him another look at it. Denied. Good block How about that block? Cook. Christian Cook got a hand on it. Rawls gives it to Cook. Thought about the three. Rawls now gets it. Iziagu, free throw line, lowers the shoulder, and then missed everything. 
Well, he delivered up some <laughs> contact there. Are you not Colombe back to Ooh. You're saying something. Allen walks into a three ball, oh. and that's pure. I mean, you're kind of seeing why Allen was recruited at the highest level. He's got length, athleticism, and a beautiful stroke from three. He was Mr. Basketball in the state of Kentucky. And as he was a, the 11th most points in Kentucky high school basketball history <laughs> when it was all said and done. He can fill it up. Sure can. That one nearly picked off, and it will stay with New Mexico State. Edlin just left it off. Yep. Allen knocks it down. 10-0 run for Western Kentucky now over the last four minutes. Beautiful high release there. But, yeah, you're seeing this Western Kentucky team. I mean, they'll run in transition and try to get all the way to the rim, but they got guys filling lanes. And, and again, if they have to run a little offense, they are very comfortable doing that, too. Look, step back, three ball. That's off the mark. Yeah, he's, a, he's trying to get himself going, too. The Aggies need him in the scoring column tonight. Allen Bay swings it. Edel in the corner. And a whistle away from the ball. I believe this one's going to go on New Mexico State. Slider. Kanyanga. Kanyanga gets whistled for his second. Yeah, he kind of just tried to get his body into Howard coming across the paint. But kind of impeded his progress too much. So 17 fouls on the Aggies. That's going to send Howard to the strike. He's a 65% free throw shooter. It's the first. Howard, he's been a well-traveled player himself. It's been his first three seasons. Or I'm sorry, it's been his first season at Georgia and then three seasons at Georgia Tech. So he's played some big-time basketball as well. And he has been, we were talking about, such a big player for them off the bench this season, giving them 10 points a ball game. And that one kind of thrown into no man's land, deflected. And they say that's New Mexico State ball. I'm not so sure about that. It looked like yeah. Edelin deflected it off of Christian Cook. So the Aggies may catch a break there as they retain possession. A little pressure here from Western Kentucky. Just under five minutes to go in the first half. Rawls has it top of the key, gets a screen from Harris. Trying to get free, the switch has got the big on him now. Trying to get free of Howard, can't do yeah, it. Good job by Cook. the big fella guarding the dribble. Cook contested three. Oh my, tough three ball goes down for Christian Cook. And they needed that in the worst way. They needed it and Christian Cook needed it too. Into Howard, he had it from point blank range, couldn't hit, got his own miss. And now tied up. Now they're gonna get a whistle of foul going against New Mexico State. Look at this three ball from Cook. Well defended. Yeah, step back, create some distance. Beautiful shot right there. Now Cook whistled for the foul on the other end. Gets Howard back to the line. Kind of feel like if New Mexico State's going to spring the upset today, Christian Cook's going to have to have yes. one of those nights. We'll see if that gets him warmed up a little bit. Yeah, but again, you, if you can get some contributions, Petway's hit a couple, Harris has hit a couple. Can you get to this thing? We've kind of said this the last few days. You're going to need every little bit of something from everybody. Um, but certainly, your stars have to shine. And yeah, Christian Cook has got to have a big night for them to make a run. Howard gets both free throws to go. He has eight points. And made all four of his free throws, so the big fella stroking it well tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of teams where he'd be he'd be a starter. No doubt. I mean, you could bring him off the bench. He's got a great soft touch. Strong body down in the paint. A whistle. That foul gonna go against Howard, I believe. That's his first. The fourth team foul on Western Kentucky. So he'll top 
jumpers just keep coming at you in waves. There's just so many guys they can run out there, and they don't seem to miss a beat. Henry back in the game now for them. Iziagu just working his way down to about three feet, yeah. rising up and finishing. Yeah, made contact a couple times, and then created some space with that big body. Nice little soft baby hook. Yeah, Howard called for the ball on that one. Oh, the my. chest of Iziagu, bucket and the foul. Yeah, he came across the paint calling for that ball, sensed the advantage, and made it count. How about the impact Rodney Howard's made in the first half? Ten points, three rebounds. He's calling for the basketball, and he's delivering. Western Kentucky leads at 34-25. 3.38 to go here in the first half. Steve Lutz, first season leading this program. He's a guy that knows how to win in March. Previously the head coach at Texas A&M Corpus Christi took them to a couple of conference titles in the Southland Conference, a couple of NCAA tournament bids. All he did was go to the tournament every year as a Purdue assistant, yeah. had success as a Creighton assistant as well. The guy knows how to win. It was interesting talking to him today, Naz, about what does it take this time of year? And he said the main thing he feels like is feeling confident. He's yeah. like, even if you haven't been playing well, yeah. as a coach, you've got to find a way to instill that confidence so guys are playing fast and free. And, I mean, it looks like they're yeah. doing exactly that so far tonight. Yeah, and he talked about kind of recommitting possession by possession. Again, spoken from a guy who has well-traveled yeah. in NCAA tournaments, knows what he's talking about. So a double-digit lead now. That matches the largest lead of the game for Western Kentucky. Fadeaway jumper too strong. Rebound pulled down by Christian Landon. Henry handles the ball. They leave him all alone. Top of the key three. That's off the mark. He just cannot yeah. get it going tonight. Mexico State fortunate that they forgot all about him. He was standing there all by himself. Well, Howard's picked up the slack, Allen as well. But again, you just want to be at your best, and, and they're not if Don McHenry is not scoring. Hook fading away on that three off the mark. Yeah, he never quite got all the way squared up. He's kind of right in front of us. We had a really good look. He was still kind of angled off to the side to miss on the shot there. Last 248 if you're New Mexico State. Like, man, you can just get this down. You can keep it at yeah. eight or six. Yeah. Single just digits. Single digits, yep, you'll be feeling good. Stay in this ball game. Give yourself a chance to regroup at the half. Three. Left short. The rebound on the move for Petway. Gives it to Cook. A little hesitation. The drive and the lay-in. So Christian Cook now with seven. Western Kentucky quickly moves the other way. Yeah. Lander. Gets in the paint, hands off. Colin Bay kicks it out. McHenry going to try again. The left-handed stroke. There it that is. one goes down. <laughs> and you see him kind of look up in the air like, finally. And he hits a shot, but Coach Lutz not going to let him enjoy it. He said, you missed an assignment <laughs> as Christian Cook turned the corner on you on that possession before. Steve Lutz saying, I know we can score. Yes. <laughs> I want stops. Yes, I want defense, and I want defensive intensity. Rawls cross court pass, and it's blocked. There's a little intensity. Calabé steps out of bounds as he gathered it, but what a block as he hustled across the court. He's made some really nice plays today, Calabé has. Yeah, it's just that he didn't establish himself yeah. before he caught the ball after a great block. Third block of the night for the Hilltoppers. Tough angle to inbound from Rawls with the catch. 12 on the shot clock. Rawls dribbles into the teeth of that defense, hands it off, denied. Oh, Petway had it yeah. sit back. Rodney Howard. I don't know, I don't know where you think you're going with that. <laughs> there are no yeah. easy lay-ins okay. tonight. I was kind of expecting Petway to kick it out, knowing that Howard was right on his hip. 3.9 on the shot clock. Aggie's going to have to get something quick. Cook 
Three ball, too strong, fight for the rebound, and McHenry, heady play, yes. knew he couldn't grab it, yep. just tapped it to a teammate. Allen Bay with a lane, and he gets fouled. They are, I'm telling you, they just have so many weapons, yes. and you have to respect them from three. But then they have guys that are strong enough, they take it off the bounce, they can get to the rim. They are so multifaceted offensively. Yeah, and, and they don't give you much time to, to get set. So right. It's like you're running back, you're trying to find your matchup, and next thing you know, they are right on top of you. Like you said, driving into the paint or pulling up for a quick shot in transition. A free throw well off the mark. Alambe a 63% free throw shooter on the year. And still kind of in that danger zone. I mean, if you're New Mexico State, you need a couple buckets. You got to keep this thing Round 10, certainly better if you can get it to single digits, but they really need a basket here in this possession. Colin Bay and McHenry, Juco teammates at Indian Hills Community College. So a little two for one out of, out of that Juco for Western Kentucky, and it has paid off in a big way. Foul called on Hilltoppers. That's still just the 15 foul. You got Dante Allen on the whistle. Let's not too sure. Deegan Moore going to check in. Moore, good looking freshman for WKU. Hasn't really made an impact so far tonight, but has really played well down the stretch. Rawls has the big man on him, gives it up. Corner three on the way, left short. And the rebound snatched and then knocked out of bounds. The official looking at each other, and they will point the way of Western Kentucky. Huh. Allen Bay just had it knocked out of his hands. Lamar Angle almost looked like he touched it last yeah, it and he like threw it up into the back side of the backboard. Let's take a look. There's a deflection right there, but yeah, I'm not so yeah. sure when he went to rip it away that it wasn't off him. As it is, Hilltoppers get the ball. Just over a minute to play here in half number one. Newman turned around, thought about launching, <laughs> thought better of it. They go inside, Howard, strong catch, had it knocked away, gets it back, puts it on the deck. Rising up, couldn't get the roll, but a whistle inside. And the fouls are kind of starting to mount on New Mexico State. You mentioned not a ton of depth anyway. So you're, you're, you're seeing why a huge part of West Kentucky's offense is getting themselves to the free throw line. I mean, they're just relentless attacking on the offense. Then they're, they're on the offensive glass as well. And that was a third foul on Jonathan Kenyanga. Big part of their scoring comes from getting themselves to the free throw line. Kentucky. This will be their 19th free throw in the first half. So even though they've only made 11, 61%. Yeah. You get there that much, yes. it ends up being a good thing. Howard knocks it down. 12 points for the big man as yeah. he has a seat. Gets a nice round yeah. of applause from the Western Kentucky faithful. I know he's done some work in this first half. 13-point advantage, largest lead of the night. Look, passes to the wing. Long two, that's good. Jordan Rawls knocks it down. Boy, you don't see many of those yeah. these days. One step inside the three-point line. Yeah, he gets a, one of my gold stars this week. I'm handing him out for 15 to 17-foot jumpers. You're on <laughs> Paul Naz against all mid-range team. Congratulations, Jordan Rawls. Timeout on the floor. Is they just needed a bucket anyway. They did. They, they did. So a timeout, 34.9 remaining here in the first half. And if you just get a real good stop if you're New Mexico State, get a little, you know, hit a shot, get a stop, going into halftime, a chance to regroup. You know, you look on the glass, New Mexico State 
even. Yeah. They, they've done a good job there. The turnovers, they've only forced two of them. Western Kentucky's taking care of the basketball. And, and really then, the big thing is the free throws. Just one made free throw in the first half for the Aggies, 12 for Western Kentucky. Yeah, and bench points kind of sticks out to yeah, me. Right. And that goes kind of to coaches, let's uh, talk about depth and then belief in, in any guy over there can step at, off that bench and contribute in different ways. And so, um, yeah, you got to think game like this, physical too, that depth is only yes. going to continue to pay dividends moving on later into this ball game. Yeah, here's the other thing. The turnaround tomorrow is very quick. It's true. As the men switch the to, the, to the early afternoon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the winner of this one plays at 2 o'clock tomorrow. So you have the late night game here this evening, afternoon game tomorrow, the winner to face Middle Tennessee. Now five seconds difference between shot and game clock. Bay has the ball on the wing, hands off. Lander trying to create between the legs. Gonna have to pull one up, not sure they're aware. They are not in a shot clock violation. So New Mexico State gets the stop, a chance now. Maybe get a bucket, yeah. go to the locker room. Yeah, they got 4.2 seconds. If they can get the inbounds, you want to get the inbounds to a guy that's on the move. If you can catch it on the move, a dribble or two, he, you know, you, you can go coast to coast in four seconds. Harris trying to throw it in. Oh, deflected, stolen away, and the dunk oh. is missed! Oh my! Christian Lander <laughs> had a chance to put the exclamation point on the half, and he just missed it. Great steal by Colum Bay and save. Yeah. <laughs> He's mad at himself, but <laughs> it's a great, great hustle play, and well, they had a good hand. They'll pat him on the back now, but I guarantee you if they win this game, <laughs> yeah. Lander's going to be hearing about that <laughs> That's right. for a long time into the future. But as it is, Western Kentucky leads it by 11, heading to the locker room. They did a good job limiting New Mexico State. We're yeah. not get much going offensively. We're going to catch up with Western Kentucky head coach Steve Lutz yeah, here. Made everything difficult. Moment. As he gets the headset on it. And coach, you talked to us this week. You said you want to see that intensity on the defensive end. You hold them to just 29 first half points. How do you evaluate what you guys did on that end of the court? Well, I, I thought we did a good job in the half court once our defense was set. The problem was that we didn't rebound the ball enough. I think we probably gave them 8 to 12 um, second chance points in the first half, and, and that really, really hurt us. But overall, I was pleased with our effort. I was pleased with our intensity, and I, and I thought our guys really competed. Yeah, Coach, and you also talked about your depth and how you have belief in all those guys. you got to be pleased that everybody stepped out there and seemed like they contributed. Yeah, no, no. I mean, the guys, are uh, they're excited to be here. You know, I mean, when you get to this time of year and you have a chance to win through, Three games and go to the NCAA tournament you should be excited and uh, those guys they, they rang the bell for the first half you know now um, now that the chore is can we do it for the second <laughs> half as well appreciate the time coach coach no problem guys all right thanks to coach Steve Lutz for taking a moment with us Western Kentucky what we say they average about 80 a ball game they're halfway there and they lead it by 11 as we head to halftime in Huntsville we come back first half stats and we'll get you caught up on highlights that you might have missed Out set for the second half. Please be joined by New Mexico State head coach Jason Hooten. And coach, offensively, nothing's come easy tonight. What kind of adjustments do you need to see from your team to get on track on the offensive end? Yeah, we just gotta, you know, anytime somebody's overplaying you like they are, you gotta be able to get downhill and you gotta be able to beat your man one on one off the dribble. And, you know, um, I think the other thing we gotta do is, you know, we gotta take advantage of the easy opportunities we've gotten. We got the ball inside a few times, we missed a couple of bunnies which led to run outs for them. And, you know, I was overall, I mean, besides the free throw, free throw deficiency, um, I think over, overall we held them to 30-something percent from the field. So I was pretty happy with that. We just fouled them way, way too much. Our post defense has to get better this half. Appreciate the time, Coach. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, he made a good strong point. Like, you, you hold Western Kentucky to 35% yeah. shooting from the field. Normally, you're like, all right, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. <laughs> but that net wasn't necessarily good enough because of how many attempts they got at the free throw line. Yeah, and, and some second chance opportunities. I mean, again, it's you're still in striking distance. So, I mean, you got 20 minutes. It's a long half. You don't need to rush and panic, but you, you do got to make some some headway there 
being down 11. Yeah. Speaking of New Mexico State, I mean, I don't know if Jason Hooten gets enough credit yeah. for what he's done this year. They brought back zero, zero players, zero production from last season, basically rebuilt the entire roster from scratch. And they end up finishing as the sixth seed <laughs> in a really tough Conference USA this season, a really balanced league. So he has done a good job, and he was even talking with us today, saying, listen, yeah. this is step one. <laughs> and while it's always hard for coaches to be patient, I think he realizes the, the best is yet to come with this program. This is the hardest first step. Yeah, well, I'll just say, there's always a step one. His step one yeah. has been, had been a monumental step because of the, the way the program was in disarray. So again, coaching a season is hard enough, let alone he's had to literally start from ground zero. And, and, and what a task, but he's up for the task, and uh, he's going to get this thing turned around. Yeah, they, they might want to get the racquetballs off. So they, <laughs> we're about to put the ball in play with the racket basketball still out there. That would have been. There's a few game. guys on the court that would love to play yes. with two or three basketballs. Uh, absolutely. Because they're not getting enough shots. Yeah. So now we're going. Oda Cali thought about the three. Drives in the paint. Pump fakes a couple of times. Now has to kick it out. Good job covering that up. And now a shot in the lane, off the mark. Offensive rebound, kick out to Cook. To New Mexico State, working hard on the glass to get another opportunity. Knifing through the lane, no. Jaden Harris couldn't get that shot to go. And Western Kentucky pushes the tempo. Henry handles the basketball, the crossover. He has that side of the floor clear if he wants to take it. Tried to go with the left hand, just hit off the side of the backboard. So now it's Oda Cali's turn. Yeah, and, and Femi's got to get himself going. Nice shot right there. I mean, they need him to get going. They need Cook to get going. Open look from three. That goes down. Pretty stroke from Dante Allen. He's got 11. Couple threes and another jumper. I mean, he, he just gets high release, beautiful backspin. Pretty. Oh, Cali backs it out. Working on Baba Carfe. Going to launch it from three point range. That's off the mark. Henry, pass up ahead. Newman in rhythm three. Too strong. Faye Whoa. hits the deck hard, and I think we're going to get a foul on New Mexico State. Two guys going for the basketball. Yeah, that's a hard call. It's a free ball. Both guys make an effort for it. Kind of one of those where you feel like you have to call yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, Faye hit so hard on the ground, but and that's Oda Cali, and that's number three. They really had no choice but to leave him out there. Allen off the screen, three ball off the mark, and the rebound pulled by Jonathan Kenyanga. Oda Cali swings it now to Cook. He's going to launch a deep triple. High yeah. arcing three goes down. Well, the guys that they need to get yep. going, Oda Cali and Christian Cook, they're looking for their shots here early in the second yeah, half. He's got a basket already. And again, just little by out. little, just chunking into that lead. And now you got to do it at this end, too. You got to get stops. has it, thought about the three. Get it to Allen. A lot of contact. Wow, that was a collision. No whistle. We head the other way, and it's nearly stolen as Marshall got a hand on it. I'm telling you, Naz, and this is a physical league it anyway. Is, it is. This tournament has been ultra physical. Look at bang. <laughs> Look at that collision I mean, right there. This this tournament not for the faint of heart. For the for the frail of body. Yeah, right. <laughs> Talk about three games in three days. I don't know how you hold up through it, through it all. Oh, to Cali. And now a little touch foul going against Tyrone Marshall. Oh, to Cali has kicked the aggressiveness up a notch on the offensive end here in the first few minutes of the second half. Official. No, no, over here, fellas. We're inbounding it from the side. Pet way to trigger it. 
looking, looking, and a foul is gonna bail him out. As we were very fast approaching a five second call. They got Marshall on the foul. And that is his third foul. So he will check out and you know, Colin Bay checks in. He provides some really good minutes yeah, in sure the first half. Can you see in that depth on that Western Kentucky side? A lot of guys can come in and give you a lot of different looks. Poked away and stolen. Lander full head of steam. Globbed it up. I don't know who his intended <laughs> receiver was. He said, I got three guys ahead of right. me. I'm just going to throw it up there. Typically, you don't like a lot of receivers in the same area. It worked out fine on that attempt. Western Kentucky loves to get out on the break. They catch it in there. And now a three ball from Rolls. And as you said, they need to find it from three-point range. And New Mexico Cooks State's hit. really yeah. trying. Yeah, Cooks hit one, and then that one right there by Rawls. But it's this end that they've got to tighten down. Allen feeling it. Three ball. Looked good out of his hand, a little strong. Petway comes away with it. Now it's their turn to push. Cook on the wing. A little hesitation. The blow by and a foul call. Late whistle as Allen thought he got a piece of the ball. I think it's the right call. I think he got him on the hand right as Cook was releasing the ball. Take another look. Yeah, yep. you saw it. So good call. Yeah, the whistle was a little late, but that was the right call. Christian Cook to the line. This is the first. Cook tonight, 10 points. Transfer from Northeastern State, where he scored 16 a game a season ago. And Mexico State. That one goes through. Now just two of seven from the free throw line. They haven't gotten there a lot. When they have, they haven't been able to convert. Them. They're going to need every one of those tonight. Freshman Moore in there now. Gives it up. Oh, great pass. Open three off the mark. Newman could not connect off the feed from Lander. Yeah, that was a nice little wraparound pass. That way, backs it out. Go to Cowley now, top of the key. He gets for a ball screen. They got a switch there. He's got the advantage. Driving in, scoops it up. No offensive rebound and the putback. Iziagu muscling his way in. And now, what do we have here? The official stop and play. I don't know what that was. All right, we play on. <laughs> Lander, full head of steam. Takes it all the way and lays it in. Boy, he is a dude that plays fast, yeah. and he seems like one of those guys that's just as fast with the ball as he is without <laughs> it. He had 19 points in the first meeting with New Mexico State earlier this year. Has four tonight off the bench. Cook takes the handoff, steps back, jumper from the elbow, no. Long rebound pulled down by Western Kentucky. Seven point advantage. Swing it around. Wyatt Knight for the freshman Moore. How about that move? Made the all freshman team. The kid out of Dry Ridge, Kentucky, Tegan Moore with his first bucket. He's had a great year. A great, especially last month probably, but. Nice move right there. Get another hard contact with no call. Yeah. Well, the Cali runs through. Yagu trying to get rid of it. Bounces one dangerous pass. Cook tracks it down. Seven on the shot clock. Pulls up. Difficult shot as he pretty much ended up in his own bench. Western Kentucky gives you no time to no celebrate. Time. That's right. Feed the post. Power. Great first half. Hands it off. Now wants it right back if they can find it. 
Lander gonna drive in the paint, reverse layup, good. Howard was posting up and demanded so much attention. He almost got a player and a half, and Lander was able to squeak by on the dribble, came out the other side for a real nice reverse layup. This is just another example of the depth of this team. And that feed, that's a goal 10. That'll count it for Petway. Your first team all conference guard, McKinry, is out. You bring in Lander, and this team doesn't miss a beat. Western Kentucky leads it by seven. Western Kentucky, seven point lead, 14.04 to go as they try to advance on to the semifinals of the Conference USA Championship. And look at the CUSA all freshman team. And you saw Tegan Moore for Western Kentucky make his presence yeah. felt just a moment ago. In the yeah. previous game, you know, you saw UTEP beat Liberty. There's three guys we talked yeah. about their youth and how brighter days are ahead with uh, Coach Golding bringing in some new guys and then. Brighter days might be now, too. I mean, <laughs> that's right. They're still the alive. They're looking. And so is. So is MTSU. You saw Loof there also. Good freshman young guy for the. This is it. I think we all agree. An old league. Yeah. Like you look at, at like the, not a lot of huge impact freshmen in the conference this season. A lot of veteran players. But you see guys like Moore who as the season progresses becomes a bigger and bigger part. And my goodness, you can see the potential. The kid doesn't look like a freshman out there. So Western Kentucky basketball, seven point advantage. New Mexico State, they shoot almost 55% in the yeah. second half. It's just getting stops on this end. Haven't been able to do it. Yeah, they've come out and, and like we said, you gotta attack and get some points, but it takes both ends. Moore can't connect, the follow no good. One more time, no. Oh, is that Colum Bay up there? But Colum Bay will get himself to the stripe. Colum Bay just doing all the dirty yeah. work. Yeah. He sure is. <laughs> he got that, that block. He has been. In the first half, he's on the glass. All he's banging energy. around in the paint. Goes to the free throw line for a couple. He's three of four from the strike tonight. Six points. Six rebounds. Yeah, I mean, he's just, again, adding to the depth of a really good Western Kentucky team. Junior out of Quebec. Low, deliberate free throw routine, <laughs> but it's working out just fine for him as he knocks that down. Eight well, points tonight. They run up and down, so I right. would do the same the thing. I'd take every bit of my yeah. 10 seconds before I had to shoot it. Maggie's looking inside. Iziadu battling in the paint. Goes up with the right hand. That was a pretty move. It sure was. Battle the big guys down there. That was nice. Oh, now a steal. steal. Oh, to Cali. Oh. Couldn't convert. He'll go to the free throw line, but it had it from point blank range with a chance for well, and one opportunity and just couldn't lay it in. Great, great reaction. I mean, they tried to just lob it over him. Yeah, look at this. Look at these big bodies banging. Eziagu, nice little baby hook for two. Eziagu, a guy, as you see, Oda Cali at the free throw line. But Yago, a guy, he had a year at UTEP, two years at K-State, a year at Sam Houston, and then came to New Mexico State for Jason. He's played for a third of Conference USA now. <laughs> Not many guys can say that. The Aggies come up empty to yeah, strike. That's oh, my oh, my. The rejection to Yago. And now a three at the other end. Does it fall? Easy out through the rebound. It's denied. Got it back again. Threw it up. No. They're volleyballing it off the backboard. And somehow, Western Kentucky comes away with it. And Colin Bay lays it in at the other end. Man, it was tip drilled down here on one end. And I don't even know how the ball came out of there. But Moore, great job. Beautiful bounce pass. Right in rhythm. For two more transition points. Eziagu was working so hard on that possession and then came up empty and saw it go the other way for a quick two. Next 
Mexico State gets one bucket back there from Rawls. Swings to the freshman. They're trying to feed the post and yeah. get it into Howard. Pump fake gets back to the right hand. Pretty move. Oh my Soft goodness. touch. First points of the second half for Rodney Howard. Set him up to the inside. Beautiful pivot to the baseline side. Nice hook. And Mexico State looking into their big man and a foul. He's going to be called on Howard. He's called for the foul and takes the wrong end of that collision. That'll get us to the under 12 timeout. Boy, it, the big boys are doing some work down low. Get right. out of the way. Western Kentucky leads it by nine. Eleven forty-four to go. One of these teams gonna punch their ticket to the semifinals. There's one spot left. The winner of this one will face Middle Tennessee tomorrow at two o'clock. You know we talked. Steve Lutz, head coach for Western Kentucky, earlier this year, and he said, you know, we don't really have that, like, alpha dog on our team, that, that team leader, the veteran that's been, that everyone looks to. It was, but, but guys have just continued to kind of play in their role. And while they have, sure, every coach would love that guy. And I think the kind of selflessness of this team has still allowed it to have the kind of success it's had. Everybody wants that one leader that they can look to. They have a kind of a bunch of, of maybe yeah, a lead by, by committee, committee by kind committee, of deal. Yeah. It's working for them. It's a good committee. <laughs> Ziagu, nice, nice play down in the paint there. Howard kind of trapped, able to get it out. A swing the ball. Now try to go back to him on the other side. Nice catch, difficult catch, and he laid it in for two. Great movement around the basket. On the one block, doesn't have it. Team works the ball around. But as we said earlier, New Mexico State is making some things happen offensively. They just cannot find a way to keep Western Kentucky from scoring. Now for the block, loose ball, taken away. Two on one here. Newman fouled on the shot attempt. Yeah, it's been at nine. It's just sort of been stuck at nine for the longest time, kind of trading baskets. They can't seem to cut that deficit. That was the third block of the game for Rodney Howard. As he's been the star of the show tonight. Newman to the free throw line. Red shirt senior. The first of all, good mix. Kind of, you look at this Western Kentucky roster. Of You've got the veterans yeah. that have been around, played a lot of ball. You've got some of the younger guys like we've seen with Tegan Moore. Yeah. They get to, to learn, grow under them a little bit. Yeah, you got some transfers that are experienced guys. You've got some guys that sort of have been in the program already. And, and I think you've got, you've got size, you've got quickness, you've yeah. got skills. They, you got rest. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, top to bottom, and, and that's why a lot of people feel like these guys could really make a run to the championship, maybe win it all. 11 point advantage for the Hilltoppers. Took has it on the wing. Drives. Boy, oh, how in the goodness. world? He kind of pulled that yeah. ball out with the right hand to avoid the shot blocker in Tyrone Marshall. Yeah, one handed little 10 footer. Wow. And now at the other end, bucket the foul. And Marshall got tired of sitting over there on the bench with foul trouble. Said, I'm taking this to the rack. Beautiful shot and the foul. You think you get kind of a momentum play, like this difficult yeah. shot at one end. Like, oh, maybe that'll, maybe that'll get the Aggies going. And three seconds later, yeah. Marshall at the other end, they're running they're, it down your throat. That's exactly right. And he converts the three-point play. Stretch this lead to 12. Jackson Posey goes inside. Easy Agu. And a foul call. It's going to go on Howard. That'll be his third. 
gave him a forearm to the back, just trying to ride Eziagu off the block. Howard will have a seat. Baba Carfei checks back into the ball game along yeah, so with you, Tegan Moore. Jar, you get to bring Faye in. Again, not the, the body and strength of, of Howard, but you got a guy with a little longer arms, a little more shot blocking or shot altering ability. That was deflected out of bounds. It will remain with New Mexico State. Ten oh eight to go here in this final quarterfinal game. It's been all Western Kentucky so far tonight. They haven't been able to land that knockout blow. Credit New Mexico State. They've hung around. They wow. kept it at most a, a thirteen point lead for Western Kentucky, but for the most part, it's been around eight or nine. They've hit shots. They just have not gotten the stops they needed. Rawls. Passes to the corner and stepping out of bounds was Jaden Harris. So that would be the ninth turnover of the night, giving it back to Western Kentucky. So both teams shooting over 50% from the field here in the second half. Henry, good feed. Faye, pump fake, missed the short one, and it's taken away by Jaden Harris. Rawls. His man and has it denied, but a foul. For Baba Carfe yeah. got way up. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So again, you don't you don't get the body, the physicality that you get with Howard, but you get a guy that's quick on his feet and a long reach. Nice block by Faye. Seven blocks tonight for Western Kentucky. Rawls hits the first free throw. That's his 10th point of the night. See, when you got shot blockers, that just makes your defense out in the perimeter that much tougher. Because guys know I can get up into the offensive player, and if they beat me, I got the big guy with the long arm of the wall waiting down there in the paint. So, kind of another facet. The teams have that. It, it, it makes their defense all the, all the tougher. And not only that, it's not all even just the shots they block. Once you know they're, uh, that's yeah. a possibility, it affects everything. Yep. You're just waiting for the shot blocker. <laughs> On the move, off the window, soft touch and bucket for Dante Allen. He's had a really great evening. Yeah, 15 points leading Western Kentucky. Rawls gets it to Cook. He's been quiet the last couple of minutes. He needs to make something happen. Guys driving, somehow stops. Well, I tell you, the degree of difficulty, yeah. he is a tough shot maker. He is, doesn't add like the speed or athleticism to just blow by yeah. people. We saw yeah, he's creative around the rim. Yeah, we've seen him changed hands in midair a couple possessions ago. That time, drives it deep with a really tough step back just to create enough space for another finish. A timeout on the floor, 10 point lead for Western Kentucky. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you come up with a couple great scores and you look down, you're still at 10. I mean, if you're New Mexico State, you, you kind of just have to hope that you got one big run in. Yeah, yeah. You string a few stops together, one flurry, and you get yourself into like a one or two possession game in the last couple of minutes, and then the pressure's on. All right, time out on the floor. We're going to step aside as well. 8.47 to go, Western Kentucky leading by 10. You know why there's nobody out on the street? It's because they're all watching the That's Conference right. USA Championship and this final quarterfinal matchup. 8.47 to go, Western That's Kentucky right. up 10. The party will start when we get down there, That's, Matt. that's, that's right. right. Game, that's usually how it goes. It. That's usually how it goes. We are, <laughs> we are known as the party starters <laughs> around Huntsville. Now, we've had a great week here, oh, haven't man. we? It's beautiful city, beautiful weather, great restaurants. Did not ask for a better host city for this event. It has been fantastic. Western Kentucky trying to make it a fantastic trip for themselves and punch their ticket to the semis. They open down low, kicks to the corner. McHenry now gonna drive that runner from the free throw line. He is so good at that little runner from the mid range. 
Yeah, and then they've done a nice job again, just sort of we talked about New Mexico kind of just trying to make a run and, and again, great teams do not let they've kept this cushion Western Kentucky has and have just prevented them from getting any kind of momentum. Rawls elbow jumper. Rawls went down on the second bounce and said pops out and Western Kentucky going to push it. They feed the post fake. Kind of a quiet night offensively for him. Kicks it out. They're going to try to go right back to him. Battling down there. Lost the handle. Steps through other side of the rim and lays it in for two. He was not going <laughs> to give up on that possession. Yeah, and he gets his first bucket of the ball game. Yeah, nice, nice move for the big fella around there. You know, lost the handle, but kept his pivot foot. Certainly had the length to reach the other side and reverse that lay-in. They had a transfer out of College of Charleston. The pass in the paint. Now they kick it to the corner. Three ball on the way, way strong. Chased down by Moore, and it's starting to feel yeah. like it's the time of the game where Western Kentucky can start to pull away. Henry, crossover, takes the contact. They wave off the shot. They're going to say it's on the floor. So that'll get us to another timeout. 7.04 to go. New Mexico State try to hang around, but Western Kentucky starting to put the foot to the pedal. Western Kentucky closing in. On a move to the semifinals here in this Conference USA tournament. Let's take a look at the bracket. Get you set up for that semifinal round. First off, tomorrow, 12.30 Eastern, the one seed Sam Houston against UTEP. Those may be the two hottest teams in the conference. Yeah. Sam Houston, eight straight wins. UTEP, four straight wins. That's going to be an absolute battle. And then Middle Tennessee, if this score holds in Western Kentucky, I know they call it, what, the 100 miles of hate in that football rivalry. It's harsh. There might be some hate <laughs> flowing in, in here down here in Huntsville, too, if those two end up squaring yeah, off they'll with be a trip to the title game on the like line. 50 feet. It might yeah. be 50 feet of hate. That could be dangerous. Uh, what do you think, though, of that matchup, especially Sam yeah. Houston, UTEP? That's going to be a great one. It really is. And, and you just hope UTEP can kind of come back with the energy because the tournament shifts right. and the men go to the earlier games. Short turnaround. And Sam Houston has had all day today to rest. I guess the, that's the advantage of being the one seed. You know, one coach that we talked to here earlier this week said, they say UTEP is unique enough in what they do. Yeah. You know, they would be really hard to get on, on a short on short time to prepare. Yes. So you're Sam Houston, you have the, the day off, which is obviously a benefit. But you didn't know until an hour and a half ago whether you were facing a very unique style in Liberty or a unique style in UTEP, and now you've got to get ready, get ready very quickly. Yeah. Now the other side of that is UTEP, and I think it helps them because they though they play themselves such a unique style. Right. It doesn't matter what your opponent is; they're going to play that pressing, trapping, up tempo style, and. Uh, so they, you know, get all you, you're learning some, you're, you're learning some personnel, but you're not changing at all what you're doing. Sam Houston won both those matchups during the regular season, but I mean that, that could be a real good ball game. How about the flush? Tyro Marshall Jr. rising up and throws it down. Yeah, Faye kind of stepped out of the block to create a lane, and then did a nice little shovel pass as Marshall went down the lane for the dunk. Lob inside. Tiagu had it stripped, got it back, and fouled. Take a look at that dunk just a moment ago. Yes, yeah, so he creates it off the block, just enough of a lane. And again, moving without the ball is kind of a lost art sometimes. And so that, that was a great heads-up cut and nice find by Faye. Tiagu back to the free throw line. It's the first. He has nine points tonight to go along with eight rebounds. And I'll tell you, he has earned every one of those <laughs> For points. Sure. Mexico State just five of 13. Make it six of 14 at the free throw line tonight. Kentucky has just been in control here throughout the second half as that foul 
They're going to get Oda Cali. And that's going to be, I believe, number five. Yeah, he just, just read his lips, says, that's my fifth foul. So his night comes to an end. What a season yeah. he had. Third team, all-conference USA. The transfer from Seton Hall. And you know, Jason Hooten said it. He said, the guys on this roster took a chance. Yes. They took a chance on, on me, on our staff, to come to a complete rebuild. That's right. And they took a chance on us. And he said, I just really respect them for all the work that they've done here for New Mexico State. And yeah, Cali's just, certainly one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, I just said, he just spent some extra time raving about the season, the kind of person that Oda Cali is, and the leader he's been on this team. So six minutes to go in this one. New Mexico State, you are holding out hope for a run. It's going to be a whole lot more difficult with Oda Cali out of this ball game. As Colin Bay is going to go to the line. It's one-on-one. Western, on one. Western just continues to run fresh guys in, fresh yeah. defenders, and fresh scorers. Great throw good from Colin Bay. I mean, it's, there's the physical advantage, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's also got to be a mental advantage when you're a Iziagu who is just yeah. grinding all yeah. game long, and you look it up, and then here comes another fresh body in that's been sitting for the past six minutes like are you kidding me yeah that can absolutely be mentally demoralizing as well 12 points for Colin Bay he's had a, a great evening yeah. to go along with seven boards yeah we talk about needing everybody to make a championship run some of the unsung heroes Colin Bay has certainly been one of those Lester here a ball loose oh. and it'll go out of bounds and stay with New Mexico State yeah, you know, for all the talk about Western Kentucky, how they played coming into the postseason, the four straight losses, all it takes, Naz, is yes, one, that's right. one game to feel like we're back. Yep. Confidence is high again, and you completely, it doesn't matter what happened in the last four. It, it's a new season. I think they're back. <laughs> you're, you're ready to say they're back. I, I am. I've been very impressed. Uh, you know, the score aside, I think we've seen Wave that one off, that one did off. not get the shot off in time. Shot We've clock seen violation. what Coach Lutz has been asking for the last couple weeks is defensive intensity. I mean, they're holding New Mexico State down from their average, certainly. And again, the thing they weren't worried about is offense, and they've been electric on that end as well tonight. And you know, this team spent the greater portion of this season in the three spot. I mean, right. they were one of the top teams in the conference. So, yeah, you go on a little down run, but I think they've rebounded tonight. I think they're feeling good. I think those four straight losses are wiped from your mind. That's all it takes is a tournament win, and, and you're, you're feeling good about yourself moving forward. Well, you're feeling good if Rodney Howard continues <laughs> to play the way he's played tonight. Rebound pulled down by Western Kentucky. They just continue to push it. Marshall on the wing, gonna feed the big fella. Two feet in the paint, left it a little short. Howard has tied his season high with 18 points. Rawls to Cook, left open from three. That goes down. It's been a good night for Christian Cook. He's done all he could do offensively. 20 points now for the junior guard. Trying his best to keep the Aggies in it. It's kind of that, that starts that shot down around yeah. his waist. Yeah, right, right off his hip. The gunslinger. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 15-point lead for Western Kentucky as they try to close this one out. 4.25 to go. Western Kentucky leading by 15. Try to advance on to play Middle Tennessee. And if they end up holding on here, Naz, take yep. a look at that matchup. Middle Tennessee, you have such a huge upset, emotional win over Louisiana Tech. Maybe the best thing that could happen was them getting a day off to yes. kind of come back down to earth. 
But now you get this matchup. These teams split during the regular season, by the way, Western Kentucky and middle. Yeah, a day to come back down and also to prep <laughs> the still scouting report, which they certainly will need to. But yeah, you know, you and I, we both kind of thought middle could be that team that, that again, was better than their record. Right. We, we saw them kind of right the ship and the last few weeks of the season, uh, they played so well, came in with a nice, you know, winning five out of their last eight and and did exactly what we thought they might do is, is create a huge upset to get to that next round. Think back to that last meeting between Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee, an absolutely chaotic finish. <laughs> That's right. With controversy and it was I mean, what you expect in a fierce rivalry, like that's a game that you'll talk about for years to come. <laughs> and now we get a third chapter as they'll, we assume, if, if yep. Western Kentucky holds on, we'll get to face them again here in the semifinals. Just under four minutes to play. Rawls uses the screen. Hands off to Cook. He's got to start forcing some. He does. That one off the mark, and the rebound pulled down by Tegan Moore. Yeah, for all the good things that Western has done tonight, rebounding, they've really they talked about winning the glass. They've really kept New Mexico State were one and done the vast majority of the possessions. Shot up and good. Howard, Just it was almost like he was going in slow motion. He was <laughs> looking around like, should I kick it out? No, I guess I'll take it up. He's got his season high 20 points tonight. On top of just what they've done offensively, speaking of Western Kentucky, they've only turned it over six times. So they're getting shots every time down. And if you take care of the basketball like that, boy, you are gonna have a lot of success yeah. on most nights. Tough attempt, no. Iziagu, rebound, puts it in. He's had a real good night. He has. 12 points, nine boards. As we get a whistle. It's going to go on Cook. Substitution and checking in for New Mexico State. That's Yak yeah, Yak yeah. comes into the ball game. Got some size, doesn't play yeah. a ton of minutes. 6'11, freshman out yeah, of huh? Australia. Good. Now you can kind of learn behind. Iziagu. He certainly has great size, great body on him. Lander with the free throw. Lander, another guy that has yeah. high major experience, played his first couple of seasons at Indiana. Was a big time recruit coming out of high school. Yeah, and then you know to come to this program and be willing to kind of come in off the bench. Yeah. Again, you talk about you got to go get great players, but they got to fit together. They got to, you know, be able to accept their role. And Lander has done a great job. He comes in off the bench, but he's instant offense. That way, drives, and up. Drawing the foul. He'll get himself to the line with 227 left. That foul. Tenth team foul in Western Kentucky. When you think about what we've seen tonight from, from Rodney Howard, Baba Carfe, another bigger body, and you think about Coleman Jones from Middle Tennessee, it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of sorts itself out. We saw Coleman Jones pulling Bacho of Louisiana yes. Tech away from the hoop yes. so often on the offensive end. So How will Western Kentucky fare against that? Yeah, and, and you know, you 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 know they're going to go to Howard and Fay to try to see if they can't get him in foul trouble. Right. Um, and it's, again, it's nice to be able to throw two guys at, at a guy like that. So I mean, Coleman Jones, he'll, he's, he'll have his work cut out for you, but he's got the advantage when they step out. You know, right. he can pull those guys away. We saw him with a nice. He's got three range, but he's also could put it on the dribble a, a few times, and so that'll be an interesting matchup to watch. That Justin Porter, the tough guard against these guards of yeah. 
of Western Kentucky <laughs> going up against McHenry and Christian Lander. Promises to be a great match. Both those games tomorrow. I mean, it got the 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 championship got interesting. The second Middle Tennessee scored the upset because that just threw everything into a little bit of chaos. Yeah. Suddenly the bracket was not going to go the way people thought it might. Now we'll get a chance to renew this great rivalry between the Blue Raiders and the Hilltoppers. Another steal. More the flush. And the Western Kentucky faithful on their feet. <laughs> and why not? That's right. They have earned this. They've. This is a great performance. It was a gutty, strong performance on both ends. It's probably a relief in a lot of ways, yes. too, with the way the regular season ended. Some tense times, maybe, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Yeah, maybe some doubt setting in, and they have answered the bell and erased all doubt. They've got to be feeling not only good for the win and your advancing, but the confidence has had to come back in Absolutely. the after a win of this magnitude. Lander, the drive and the foul from behind as Jackson Posey got a piece of him. Here's the dunk a moment ago. The freshman throws it down with the right hand. Nice pass by Edelin, just laid it off there right in stride. You know what, and, and let's mention, I'm glad you mentioned Jack Edelin because he gave them some really good minutes yes. in the first half. When yes. this was still a ball game, he played really well, not scoring the ball, but four assists in just six minutes of play. Yep. Did a good job in the, in the first half for the Hilltoppers. And everybody knowing your role, accepting that role, coming in, contributing as each individual can. So Western Kentucky going to empty that bench as they're going to celebrate this win and tell you, some guys when it comes to March, they just have a knack, whether it's a uh, just a finger on the pulse of their team or understanding what buttons they need to push. Steve Lutz might be one of those guys. Yeah. The success he had at Texas A&M Corpus Christi in the conference tournament and getting to the big dance. Yeah, you don't want to say the, I mean, they were fragile. Yeah. Four game losing streak. You don't want to say the wrong thing and, and, and crush their spirits. And so I'm sure those meetings were a little bit tense, but he got them in the right frame of mind. They came out tonight and did everything they needed to do. Three for Petway. Just over a minute to go in this one. And we are going to get round three between Middle Tennessee and Western Kentucky tomorrow. That one's going to tip at 2 o'clock. The semifinals as that three goes down. Oh, don't you love it? Tyler Olden. Did not waste any time. Just the sixth time, sixth game he has played all season long. The kid had three points all season long. He just doubled his season <laughs> point total, Nats. That thing looked good the moment it left his hand. How about it? This crowd and the bench absolutely loving it. <laughs> this is a great moment for the Hilltoppers as they look to close this one out. So the semifinal games here in this tournament will move on over to CBS Sports Network. You can catch Sam Houston and UTEP at 11.30 Central, 12.30 Eastern tomorrow. Middle Tennessee and Western Kentucky to follow. You never know what's going to happen come March. You never know when it might all click for a team. Yep. But what did tonight do for Western Kentucky and their prospects moving forward? Won't have to wait long to find out. Yeah, I, I think they're right back in the conversation of, of making it to the championship. I'll tell you what, they're a scary group. They sure are. They are an absolutely scary group, and their crowd which has been into this ball game from the tip. They can celebrate now. The Hilltoppers moving on. They advance. They will face Middle Tennessee in the second semifinal tomorrow afternoon. It's been fun. How did they lose four straight, Naz? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
not only have they erased doubt in their own mind, I think they've put some fear Absolutely. into the rest of the field. They're like, Western Kentucky's back, and they're dangerous. So they secure the win. 89-69, here's an updated look at the bracket. We mentioned it a moment ago, Sam Houston and UTEP. Western Kentucky facing Middle Tennessee. Those two semifinals beginning tomorrow at 12.30 Eastern. Cannot wait to see how this one ends up turning out. It has been a wild year within the conference <laughs> all season long. So much parity. Yeah, and the tournament is living up to that same billing. Absolutely. Absolutely, it has been a, a great one thus far. Three more games to go before we decide a conference champ. All right, Rodney Howard standing by joins us now. Rodney, a season high, 20 points. Did you just save your best for the biggest moment? Or were you just waiting for this one? <laughs> yeah, I was saving it, I was saving it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys lost four straight coming in. People saying, maybe this team's heading the wrong direction. What did you guys do in the lead up to this one to get right? We just had to remain focused. You know, we always felt like we was a talented team, but it was just remaining focused and not, you know, fighting through adversity. And I feel like the guys just did that. You know, Rodney, you guys score the ball really well, but we know the message the last few weeks from Coach has been defensive intensity. You guys got to feel good in the way you played on the defensive end tonight. Yeah, we was uh, practicing a lot of uh, defense, but we, we was really enthused uh, about that. Can you tell Coach we got that figured out? We don't need to practice defense. Like, let, it, let <laughs> hey, us shoot the rock. If it's working, we're going to keep doing it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you guys looked really great tonight. Rodney, congrats on a huge win, a great performance, and you move on now to the semifinals. I guess last thing, Middle Tennessee, you guys had a tight one the last time you saw them. Preview that matchup for me. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's going to be a uh, rematch. We got to uh, take the win on that. We, uh, we owe them one big time. And I just <laughs> want to give a shout out to our fans, too, coming out all, all out here and stuff. For Absolutely. Sure. Okay. They were great tonight. So were you, Rodney. Congrats on you. the win. Thank you. A huge win for Western Kentucky, and they'll get that rematch with Middle Tennessee. Can't wait for it. For Paul Nazigan, our entire team, I'm Matt Warner saying so long once again from Huntsville, Alabama. For once again, the final score, Western Kentucky 89, New Mexico State 69. Remember, all games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Next. K Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. I'm on the next level now.